Hello, my name is Abhimat Gautam, and I'm a postdoc researcher at UCLA working with the Galactic Center Group. In this video, I'll be talking about where the center of the galaxy is if you're looking for it in the night sky. So we all live in a thin spiral disk galaxy called the Milky Way. It's a really flat, thin disk, sort of like a pancake. And we all live here on the planet Earth, which is a planet in the solar system next to the sun. It's pretty far away from the center of the galaxy, which is here on this map of the galaxy. It's about 26,000 light years between us and the center of the galaxy. You can find out even more about our home galaxy in the video titled, What is the Milky Way on our group channel? So because we live inside the flat disk shaped Milky Way galaxy, when we look at the Milky Way from here on Earth, it looks like a thin band of light stretching all around us on the sky. This is a panorama photo taken of the entire Milky Way galaxy in the night sky. The thick part of the galaxy in the center of this photo is where the center of the galaxy is located. This photo is a long exposure photo taken with a camera. And in most cases, if you do actually go stargazing and see the Milky Way in the night sky with your own eyes, it won't be quite like this unless you're at a very dark and remote location. But this long exposure photo can reveal a lot of details and stars that we normally wouldn't be able to see with just our eyes. What you might actually see in the night sky will probably be closer to something like what's shown in this sky chart, where the Milky Way galaxy will appear like a fuzzy streak of light going across the sky. So the center of the galaxy, as seen by us here on Earth in our night sky, is located near a constellation called Sagittarius and another co constellation called Scorpius. So on this star chart, uh, the constellation Sagittarius is located to the left, and the constellation Scorpius is located on the right. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, you can see these two constellations during the summer in the southern part of the sky. The constellation Sagittarius is pretty fun to look for in the night sky. The way you find it is by looking for a group of stars that looks like a big teapot in the sky. So it's the group of stars that are shown on the left side of the star chart. There's the handle on the left side of this group of stars, and there's a spout of the teapot on the right side of this group of stars. And if you're in a dark enough location, you may even be able to make out the Milky Way as a fuzzy streak of light to the right of the teapot. The center of the galaxy is right off of the spout of the teapot, a little ways out in between the constellation Sagittarius and Scorpius. Now that we know where to find the center of the galaxy, let's look for it in this long exposure photo of the entire Milky Way galaxy. We can turn the photo to put north on top and south towards the bottom, similar to how things would look if you were looking at the night sky from the northern hemisphere. And if you're looking towards the center in the summer sky, the Milky Way streaks from the northeast down to the southwest part of the sky. Again, we can find the center by finding the constellations Sagittarius and Scorpius. And if we look for the teapot in the constellation Sagittarius, we can trace out from the spout of the teapot to the very center, which is where this white circle is at the center of this picture. We can zoom in even more towards the center, but as we do that, we'll see that at visible wavelengths, there's not much we can actually see at the center. At the very center, at visible wavelengths, it appears dark to us with our eyes because of something called extinction. And extinction is caused by dust in our Milky Way that's between us and the center of the galaxy. And this ends up blocking the light that our eyes see at, at visible wavelengths. So if you'd like to learn more about extinction and dust, you can watch our video titled, How Can We See Through the Galaxy to Observe Stars at the Galactic Center, which is also available on our group channel. So when we zoom in, we find that we can't really see much at the very center. Uh, and we can't see what's happening at the very center of our galaxy with visible wavelengths, but we can look at the center using longer wavelengths than what our eyes see at, such as at near infrared wavelengths. When we do that with a telescope like the Hubble Space Telescope, for example, we can start to see the stars at the very center of the galaxy. This red picture is a picture taken of the very center about 13 light years of our galaxy, uh, taken with the Hubble Space Telescope. The Galactic Center Group at UCLA uses an even bigger telescope than the Hubble Space Telescope. This bigger telescope is called the Keck Telescope in Hawaii. And using this telescope, 
we can see the stars at the very center of the galaxy right next to the supermassive black hole. So now this picture, this uh, showing the central about 1.3 light years of our galaxy, and this is taken with the Keck 10 meter telescope in Hawaii. And with this data, we can zoom in down to really close to the center where we can see the stars orbiting the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. So to summarize, where is the center of the galaxy in the night sky? It's located in the constellation Sagittarius in our night sky, right next to a group of stars that looks like a big teapot.